New at 11, firefighters on the front lines of the overdose epidemic. Every day, OD calls take crews to the streets, back alleys, and camps in the woods across our community. We appreciate you watching. I'm John Becker. Here are the headlines tonight. A day in the life of fire crews, a job now far beyond firefighting and flames. And most days, it's tackling the new inferno, costing lives on our streets. 10 News reporter Caitlin Kinahan puts us in their boots for a reality check. Mornings on merchants are seldom quiet. One of the busiest stations in the city. Though for just five minutes, peace comes in the form of mixing pancakes, the sound of sizzle. We're in a crash with injury. Guess breakfast will have to wait. 24-hour shift at this station is always unpredictable. You can always make plans of how the day is going to go, but it's never going to go that way. Pete Hayes and crew ran about 3,000 calls last year. Merchants Drive off the interstate has become a common spot for crashes, where fire, police, and medics come to the scene. But with the increased amount of emergencies, most time, KFD is the only responding agency. Yeah, Merchants has gotten uh, busier and busier. The most common calls are medical ones. Fire department. Most times, fire can get there before an ambulance. Okay, it's going to get tight. The most frequent medical call is overdose. The uh, homelessness has increased and drug overdoses has increased in this area, and housing in general has increased. This map shows merchants is a growing overdose hotspot. I mean, they're just, for us, they're routine. Hayes says some people do agree to go to the hospital, but most don't. Tell them that there's help out there, that they can get help. Hayes never thought overdoses would be the busiest part of this job. This is Narcan, which brings them out of it, and so you can wake them up in just a couple of minutes. He also never thought merchants would get this busy. We're going to need another station over here sooner or later because we're just getting too busy to run it all. Maybe then they would finally get a chance to eat breakfast. Caitlin joins us now across almost 20 fire halls. Caitlin in this city reports show crews respond to almost seven overdose calls a day, far more than any fire calls. Yeah, John, more than fires, car crashes, or other emergencies, these OD calls and medical calls make up a bulk of their day to day work. John, we appreciate their efforts. Caitlin Kinahan with a day in the life. Thank you, Caitlin.